Hello, everybody in podcast and internet Twitch world. Welcome to the Gear Swap, episode 13. I am Bratz. I am one of three hosts here on the show that we currently have two of. I am joined by Birdie and 10K, who... Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. All right. (laughs) So... Right before we went live, Christian peaced out because he had to help his family with something, but then turned off his camera, which totally broke my setup. So, we're now live. Hi, Birdie. How are you? Hi, I'm good. I'm almost done with school, and I can't wait for this shit to be over. (laughs) I'm going to sing everything in the key of I'm still a piece of garbage. Yes, that would be very Because everything is still a piece of garbage. True story. (laughs) It kind of fucking sucks. Yes. (laughs) Um, so, welcome to week 13. In honor of Apollo 13, for episode 13, we are now on Mission Moon. So, everything <laughs> is already that. going wrong on this episode, so this is great. Oh, no. <laughs> Triggered. Yeah. So, hello, hello everyone in the chat. Thank you for coming out. We got five of you with us tonight. We appreciate you coming out and joining us on this and every night. Um, You can see that the... The corona's getting to me because I'm currently sitting at my desk in a tank top. Are you suggesting you you suggesting you have a fever? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Why else would you be wearing a tank top? It's, Are you just I'm losing, losing my your fucking mind? mind? Yes. So that's yeah. what you're gotcha. Exactly. Yeah, I would lose I would only wear that that shirt if I was also losing my mind. This is a very attractive, very nice. attractive tank top. There are so many nice tank tops in the world that you just insulted by calling that a nice tank top can we just talk how oily my hair looks right now (laughs) oh god you're a mess tonight babe i am you should cut your hair i would if i can meet my barber who's that (laughs) you could totally do it yourself i guess you wouldn't like it though you don't think so Mm -mm. (laughs) <laughs> straight off give it a nice bowl cut <laughs> I could do that don't do that please god that'd be worse I could absolutely do that I feel like that that uh that that uh fuck what the hell is his name Michael whatever I can't remember his last name he's Thanos? literally the dude no the guy who manages the office in the office Michael Scott yes thank you sorry I, I feel like that gift of him was like oh god no no, no, please, God, no. No! Like, that's how it right. Yeah. I got you. That's a, that's a hard nope. So, Brady, what are we talking about this week? Um, I think recon, and then whatever the fuck we want, because there's no top ten to talk about. <laughs> that's sadly accurate. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting everything set up, and Christian's like, I'm gonna be right back. All right, there he is. Time to break stuff again. I'm like casually. <laughs> oh, babe, we're like next to each other. Cute. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna just like give you a hug. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. I went the wrong direction oh, anyway. God. Oh, everything's broken. Hey, Christian. Ooh, me. Wait. Hey, Christian. what's up? Give me a high five. Like this. Oh, other way. Like that. Uh, other way. There you okay. go. One, two, yeah. three. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Yeah. Other way. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freaking dings. <laughs> All right, that's the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. Uh, oh, it's your boy. Skinny penis. It's your boy. Yeah. <laughs> you got oh. the reference. <laughs> I just realized. I got to close my door. Oh, I got to right, close my door. Back. Hey, what's up? My name's Jared. I'm 19, and I don't know how to fucking read. Everybody's back in the proper spots now, so. All right. <clears throat> All right. All right. So, Bird, okay. you're up first. How was uh, how was your week? What you got going on? You said me. Yeah, you're up first. I just talked about my week, bro. I'm almost done with school. Like, I had oh. class today. <laughs> I had my math class today. I suck at math, but I think I'm gonna do fine at final because I looked at the math review for it and it looked good. Like I knew everything, so that's nice. <laughs> um, how about those triangles? I have like triangles. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone, sir. 
I actually, you know, what's funny is there are actually a bunch of problems for that on my like final whatever like review paper, and I knew how to do every like single problem for them. So I actually know what I'm doing. Okay. I just probably couldn't apply it to an already formulated problem because I'm a fucking idiot. Anyway, <laughs> um, you know, life's great. Uh, me and Chris signed a lease, so we're moving into an apartment together. Spoilers. I mean, you asked me how my week's going. That's pretty much what the going. We're hitting the EDM horns right now. Ooh, EDM horns. Um, so, yeah, that happened. There's still sound uh, effects going on. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Still a piece of garbage. Are they done? Piece of candy. Nope, still playing. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh, my God. Why? Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Done yet? Bruh. Now I am, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> nice, oh, nice, nice. That's been fun. Uh, I don't even know like what else there is to say. I'm so fucking tired of this shit. I want to get out of quarantine. I want to live my life. Every single day feels like the same day. All I do is sometimes work out, eat food, and do homework. And I'm fucking sick and tired of it. <laughs> Cool. That is that is all. All right. All right, Christian, you're up. All right, all right. So basically, my week has been a complete same thing, bro. It's always the same thing with this kid. Like, RJ over here <laughs> yelling his lungs off. And he just loves, I don't know why, he loves swinging the baseball bat I use for my costumes. So I'm assuming that baseball bat's going to find its way to my TV at some point. Oh, oh no, 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 then... no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But he swings the bat around so much, everyone's scared to get near him. So, like. You said full send. Yeah, mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then, uh, what else is there? My last final is going to be on May 10th. I'm about to be out of school. Nice. I'm, I'm about to be done with this. Congrats. I'm... Go off, though, bitch. Oh, exactly. Get that motherfucking paper. Like, literally, the piece of paper that the, says the, that you the did that. Single piece, piece of paper. paper. Sucks I'm not going to have a graduation, but you know. Yeah. I don't I don't I don't count the online graduation. That's it's not what it's not the same as walking. Are you gonna at... graduate in December then, Bird? Or Um we <laughs> fun fact, Columbia That's does not question. have middle of the semester graduations, like or middle of the year graduations. They only have graduations at the end of a full gotcha. school year. So um You have to wait till next spring? If I wanted to do, like, a real graduation, like, I could technically, uh, mm -hmm. but I already submitted to graduate for this semester, like, the end of this school year, so I don't know how that would work. I'd have to talk to, like, an advisor or something and be like, yo, if I still wanted to do the ceremony, could I do that? But that's not really, I don't, I'm not, like, heartbroken about not having graduation. I don't really care about that. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. me either. Like, I'm just, I, I'd much rather, like, what I'm upset that I can't do is, like, celebrate with, like, friends and family. But also, I didn't even want to do any of that until I was actually done. Okay. I don't want to celebrate a semester before I'm not done with school. <laughs> okay, fair enough. We, Liana says it's like a party. What's like a party? Columbia graduation. Oh, yeah, I guess. It's gotten kind of not great, though like last year's graduation like everybody was like ah it was good like it was fun to graduate with people but like the speeches and shit especially from our dear old president <laughs> weren't great fair enough our president is like the scum of the earth i fucking hate him i wish he would leave forever and ever and ever yeah brady's opinions do not represent the opinions of the gear swap podcast it represents <laughs> It represents her Bruh. opinion. Wait, there's three of us. One third. It represents two thirds of the. Because I'm with her on that. But Bro, like, he needs to get gone. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Moving on. Um, my week has been mostly eventful. Wait, been... wait, wait, wait. Back up. What? 
Chris, how was your week? Because nobody ever asks Aww. you, and I just felt like you need to be asked. How was your week, baby? How are you doing? My week was pretty good. How's, how's Warzone been treating you, my man? I haven't played Warzone in like a week. <laughs> I haven't played Warzone. <laughs> um, I've been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight. Streaming that shit. That's where it's at. Whomping some people, making them derank and rage on stream. That was fun. It's a fun game. I wish I had it for PC. When mm -hmm. I get, when I get my PC, it's gonna be one of the first games I get. There you go. It's great. Come survive with us. Mm -hmm. Or kill. Oh, yeah. Killing works too. Nope. Killing. Survive with us. Yeah. Or so... you could kill us. True. And we can be your survivors. That would be fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've always wanted to, to have a group of people big enough that I play with that we could do that, where you, like, swap, swap off as, yeah. like, killer, survivor, whatever. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. Yeah. Um, I spent a lot of time hunting down property managers to get leases. Leases as if there's more than well, one no, we need get to decide. Lease. Yeah. Uh, I had to hunt that guy down. Apparently, you have to, like, bug people until they send you paperwork. When you know you're moving in like 10 days. Anyways, I'm over it. Um, now I'm packing. Because I'm moving in 10 days. Oh yeah. Uh, the pack before the move. Yeah, I got a stack of boxes next to me right now. <laughs> uh, what else is there? Um, streaming. Here. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Our subscriber count has gone down a little bit. I understand no one's playing laser tag right now. That's fine. Bezos still needs to give us his money, so use your Twitch Prime if you have it. Oh yeah. Or oh, Amazon yeah. Prime. Um this week we're gonna be talking it'll be a quick show this week. We're only gonna go till ten thirty. Uh topics are recon. Uh we'll watch the video for recon, then we'll discuss that game. Go off beach. I uh, have a open discussion, probably for about 10, 15 minutes with anybody in the chat. Uh, I'll just drag whoever wants to come in, and we'll just have a quick little, quick little chitty chat. A little powwow. Yeah, a little powwow. And uh, at the end of that, we'll do our upcoming week. Uh, during at least my move, the podcast won't be affected in any way. So, why is my eyes squinting? I have to change my color. That's ah, better. Um, We'll still be on Wednesday nights. I should be in my new place before... That'll be episode 15. So, next week continues normal. Same thing with the week after. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, okay. Um, yeah, that's it. You guys ready to uh, watch a video on Recon? Oh, let's break it down. Let's go, baby. All right. Let's change this scene over. I'll mute you guys and myself, and here's the video. This is Mission Recon. All players have 100 health and unlimited lives. Each team has a dominator in their spawn area. There are two neutral dominators on the field, one in death row and one in garbage detail. You must shoot either of the neutral dominators to become active. Once active, you must make your way back to your spawn and shoot the dominator to score. If you die when active, you become deactivated and will have to shoot a neutral dominator again. The team that has scored the most after 5 minutes will win. Alright, so that is Recon's basic rules. Capture the flag! It's Capture the Flag. This is Mission Recon. Why True. are we playing it again? Let's not do that. There we go. Power said, do we play this on Shanty? Uh, no, but I'd like to play it on Shanty. Think it'd be a ton of fun. Have we ever played it on Shanty? Uh, no. No. No, no because Never I don't... Why, but I have like a vague memory of that, but I, I know that we Maybe did. it was done on a private party. Oh. Maybe. That may have been um... It. Yeah, there's not I have, a, like, a really, really vague memory of doing it, but, mm -hmm. but I... yeah, there's not an official two tube spot that you can put two tubes. Well, it would just be one and three. Where the tubes originally are, that oh, makes three would sense. Be too close though. Yeah, but... the two side tubes are way too close to the spawns to actually be 
It'll end up being a foot race. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I recommended. We can, I'll talk about this later, but I recommended for Shanty that uh, you just use one capture tube in the middle, like the bell. You have to get Ooh. to the bell and back. Oh, that's pretty good. Or pretty good. you put both tubes upstairs. Ooh, I that's like that more. Yeah, objective. Like, in my opinion, I objective don't games don't use the upstairs nearly enough. Yeah, I would mm -hmm. play either way. Honestly, I think both would be fun. Yeah. So. Both would be good changes. Both would be good changes. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so uh, as normal, we are going to go down the line. Uh, your 10-second pitch to noobs. They announce this game, they go through the rules, and then you see the blank stare in their face. <laughs> what, what do you do? Uh, this is not... This isn't an invitation to sprint, once again. Oh, okay. Pretty your first. hurt yourself or other people. <laughs> I hate... I genuinely hate so much. I can't say enough. Every single fucking time there's a game like this. It's like the first thing people hear is I'm running. I'm sprinting to the objective. I am going to be there first. Because you're going to be the first to a bloody nose. Like <laughs> pump the brakes. Literally. <laughs> pump the motherfucking brakes. You barely know what you're doing. You barely know where you're going. To like take your time. There's no need to rush. The better team will win, I promise you. You know, whether that's us or them remains to be seen, but nobody needs to get hurt in the process. All right? Okay. Just, just, that's like number one for me. It almost might be the only thing because I feel like if you're being diligent and keeping your eyes open and paying attention, then you're doing fine. You can oh, probably. Yes. Yes. You can probably accomplish your goal of winning with no problem. Yeah, that's actually very... Now that I've been interrupted by the men in the room. <laughs> he got Samoas. Like... My bad. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that. Samoas. <laughs> Bruh. Alright. All right. Christian, you're up. What's your 10 second pitch to the noobs? Since Brady took two minutes on the 10 pitch. second pitch. Ha! Okay, my number one thing get is it, when you it. finally get to the tube, is don't just shoot at the whole tube. Shoot the top of the tube. Shoot straight down and then walk back as safe as you can. Like, I would walk backwards, that way I could shoot whoever's coming in trying to stop me, but... <laughs> you said walk back as safe as you can. I yeah. would walk backwards. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah, walking backwards is fine. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yeah, just wait till all those new people that I just told not to run, run anyways. It's not yeah. fine anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna watch all these people shoot the base of the tube instead of the top of the tube. Like, it happens every time. There's no... <laughs> yeah. To the yeah, point that's where it's a, that's, that's a thing that's very, uh, very bad, is people, like, run up and they just start shooting the side of it. They're like, it's not working. It's broken. This is garbage. Like... <laughs> Maybe hey, should... thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Like maybe mm -hmm. you should look yep. inward on that one. Um, yeah, the noobs. I always tell people to spread out on this game. People mm -hmm. tend to clump up really bad, so like if one person gets the tube, they all just kind of bump into each other. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so spreading out's really good. Uh, depending on the field. Um, Madison's field is very wide open on this one. Lots of lanes to shoot, so it's really hard to score points. I mm -hmm. don't know if I've ever played it on Waukesha. I most certainly have not. If I have, it was a long time ago. Oh, sorry. I yawned. Uh-oh. Here come the yawns. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's it's nappy time stream tonight, guys. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're all tired. I... Speaking of Waukesha, I saw some videos from Waukesha and they changed their layout of their field and it looks really good. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, Damien posted some videos and just looking at his videos, oh, yeah, I noticed there's just, a... They posted them on the, the social club, On the club, right? social club, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of new walkways that they've put into the map. They've added doorways and stuff. I think they oh, actually... They took down entire walls, too, from what I could tell. I like it. Yeah, they did a lot of work. Look at them. Cool. That's sick. Yeah, if we ever get to open up again. I mean, they're open. Ish. Sorry, no shade, no tea. That was mean. 
<laughs> Wait, ish? Anyway. <laughs> like, they're running private parties if people go up there, basically. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unofficially. No shame at Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Moving <laughs> No, I mean, it's whatever. I don't care. Um, but yeah, I mean, just telling people to spread out. Uh, usually telling the people to have one person go for the tube and everyone else cover them is a pretty good strategy for new people. Um, mm-hmm. Usually people shoot at people with their guns up before people that aren't looking at them. So usually that one person could probably escape and get back. Um, That was evil. Ooh. How dare you, Yod? Sorry. All right, let's spread that like a disease. Get that ick going all over the place. <laughs> I'm the triggered. ick going everywhere. Um, yeah. Other than that, um, it's a pretty, pretty easy game to explain to people. This one's one that's kind of ingrained with most people, like the whole capture the flag idea. Um, this one does have a lot of opportunities from pr- pretty cool strategy, though. Um, who wants to go first for advanced tactics? I already said no. <laughs> you want me to go first? I'll go first. Yeah, you can do it. Okay. So, my sneaky advanced tactics for this game on Alcatraz. I don't know if you can see my mouse. Oh, you can. That's so cool. So, all right. So, you can see my cursor on the stream. Uh, the tubes are here and here. So, what you can do up here by... Actually, let me just... There we go. So up here by death row, you really can't do anything fun. You just kind of got like go in there and shoot it and then get out before someone kills you. But garbage details where the fun is. So where the tube is typically set up, either team, it doesn't matter which side you're on, this wall right here is close enough where you can stand behind the wall on either side and actually hit the tube if you're tall enough. So this will only work if you're like maybe 5'10 or taller because of where the gun is in relation to the sensor. Um, Are you talking about when you shoot shoot it from the first floor, but you shoot it at like a good angle where... Yes. You yeah. Can yeah, so it? like if you're... Uh, if you shoot and you're tall, you get just enough of an angle where you can clip the sensor so you can stay completely safe behind the wall, shoot the sensor, and then just like walk back through the middle and get an easy capture. Yeah. Yeah, and you can do it on the other me... side too. You can come yeah, through the me, crawl space. Yeah, and James are like able to do that. Yeah, so you can come through the crawl space over here and do the same thing. Um, another advanced tactic is if you're on the intake side, you can actually just walk straight up the stairs and stand at the corner here, and you can hit it from there too, and then just walk right back down the stairs. So if your team has like complete control over the top and you want to burn your legs out for five minutes, you can just run twenty stairs back and forth, and score as many <laughs> points as you want. Literally. I did that one time. It was miserable. I got like seven. And I wanted to like cry. <laughs> Get um, that, that leg yeah. workout. That stair master. Yeah, right. The stair master. Yeah. Garbage detail. You can shoot from upstairs. Death row you used to be able to. You can't anymore. Yeah. I take that back. You can if you hang over this balcony. Yeah. It's like but not it, worth it. Yeah. Though. It's not really worth it because you're super exposed right there. Mm-hmm. But you can do it technically. You'll die pretty much every time. It's a waste of time. <laughs> Correct. All right. Unless you, you have to be like one guy and go for it, you face. may, but <laughs> right. All right, Chan, your turn. All right. So basically, you know how mm, advanced strategy. You know how death row is basically enclosed and you can't shoot it from upstairs mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. much. So being uh, being an ex downstairs player all the time i would take advantage of that since a person from upstairs they could shoot me but they can't shoot the flag so at at some point if you bring around two three people with you you could have them you could you could bring them with you to death row and not just bring them with you you can depending on how good you are you can hold down that entire that entire lane opening from a bus stop if you're approaching from Alcatraz side. Okay. So basically, if you're able to cover the window that they could shoot through, the open doorway on the side, and the crawl space, since they're all basically in the same general area. Yeah, this whole section right here. Exactly. I'm like circling it with my mouse right now. 
Mm -hmm. If you can cover that whole area and just allow those same two to three people just keep running flags back and forth, mm -hmm. it'll be, you'll be up to like 10, 20 points in no time. Depending on if they're running, knowing that they're going to run. Right. But for garbage detail side, I I'm am able to if I'm approaching from the bus stop, I'm able to right before the let's say uh, when you walk down the hallway and then you're able to shoot it from shoot it at an angle and then I'm able to walk back safely using the hallway itself. Mm -hmm. That's what I like to do too. But yeah. if you are an upstairs player, there is still chances for you to score. You just have to go all the way to the garbage detail side, shoot it, and then make your way back, depending on what side you're on. That's kind of my takeaway of it. But my number one takeaway would be have a gr have, bring a couple people with you. Show them what to do. <laughs> that way it's not just you defending yourself, and then you're running one flag back by yourself. Right. These sounds good to me. I've honestly never tried to be that strategic during this game. <laughs> Just because every time I play it, I'm like, I don't want to play this game. It's not one of my favorites. Dude, this is the so game you can score like the most points on right now. I know. That's what everybody says. They're like, I was, literally every time we play this game, everybody's like, oh, sweet. I get to score points. And I'm like, bro, I don't want to just run back and forth between two dudes because that's what always happens. Always. Well, you don't have to run back and forth. You can just like mosey on over, kill a couple people, score two, mosey on back. Yeah, but like that's not what I signed up for. <laughs> like, I feel like... like I feel like it's like most of the, the 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 objective games where it's like you could be really strategic and like have a lot of fun, but most of the other people you're playing with aren't going to do that. So if you want to win, you have to just like walk back and forth between two tubes. <laughs> yeah. Which eh, it's not a huge pull for me. <laughs> okay. So most of the time when the game is played, I just kind of like fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you're part of the problem <laughs> well like I, like I I like to it's not my favorite okay since so I'm an objective player it's games like this that kind of like you know well I love objective I just, like yeah. this game is not it I feel like it always devolves into the same thing like I, you could talk about like strategy plays all day i feel like but i i just really like it's you're still just going back and forth between two tubes yeah it's just not like super uh riveting for me <laughs> <laughs> it's not a puller okay that's fair and reasonable so if anybody wants to join the conversation this is your chance taking five minutes here as we're wrapping up the conversation on recon if you want to join go ahead and uh send me a message on discord and i will get you in here um i really personally enjoy recon as a game like a lot of people groan when it comes on because like you said it's all like i don't want to run back and forth but there's a lot going on in this one i mean it uses the whole field it it does for the most part like you can you can pretty much play anywhere i mean even you have to have an upstairs presence otherwise you'll get <sighs> sorry you won't even be able to walk out of spawn then yeah otherwise you're gonna get camped immediately so you can't like ignore the upstairs you have to have someone up there right um i feel like maybe i just like haven't played enough games of recon mm -hmm. where i'm like with people who play strategically maybe that's fair because i feel like most of the games that i've ever been in it's like unless I, it could just be because i'm not paying attention because i don't care that much but right <laughs> mm -hmm. it just seems like everybody's doing the same thing which is again going back and forth between two tubes and it's just not being played the way that i'm sure that it could be if it was like taken more seriously but again it might just be because i'm not paying attention right it, it's possible um yeah I feel like we really, uh, oh, 
would you recommend any rules changes to this game? Right. I forgot Rule that's changes. a new a new idea that we were going with. Rule changes, rule changes. I don't know like what would make it more interesting. I would play this on shanty with one tube. Huh? That would, is a good one. I would play that's it on shanty one. with just one tube in the center. I a hundred and ten percent agree. Or just... or two tubes upstairs. I think that okay, so just for the reason of like not wanting it to be the same game as Hell's Bells, I would say to do two tubes upstairs because then it's like I feel like it entirely has its own like entity as a game. Yeah. Because when you put one thing in the middle that you're scoring points from, it kind of just becomes the same thing. Right. But I love the idea of playing with two tubes upstairs for a shanty. Like, I feel like that'd be so fun. Yeah. Put them, I'd probably say, actually, let's pull up the map. It would also be, like, one of the only games on Right. So for shanty, I'm thinking I just switched it over to the shanty overlay. Where is my dot? I don't see it. Let's add it really quick. Um, I'm thinking that you can put the tubes. There it is. Wait, where is it? Um, in the, the two camping spots, pretty much. Why is this not? I'm so confused. Oh, I know why. It's because I can't edit it on this screen. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Now I can edit it. Cool. So put a tube in this corner up here. And then the other tube over in the opposite corner here. So you can't just like you can't just safely walk up, shoot the tube, and then off you go. Um, you have to actually expose yourself down a hallway fully, or up the middle. Right. Um, I mean, in both of these spots, they're not super neutral for either side either, or they're not aggressive for either side. So like, if you're on this spawn in the top right, you don't just automatically get to get to this tube immediately. Um, that's actually like one of the best camping spots for the uh, the opposite team to get to. So it's actually kind of interesting. Power says the top of each center staircase. So that'd be like here, so like there on both sides. I think that's interesting too. I just don't like the idea of it not being safe there because of the stairs. Like if someone's focusing on the tube, someone could easily kick it down the stairs. At the cubby at the end. See? I see what he's saying. So he's saying in that spot there. Um, I think that's too easy to get to then. You can affect, like, especially on this side... If you're coming from the top spawn and you come up this staircase right here, you can just stay low and you're not really exposed. Well, I guess you are actually. Yeah, see, yeah, Sean said the same thing. He could stay low enough to get to the tube. Yeah, because there's big walls around here and then there's big walls around the other one too. So yeah, I think it needs to be over in the corner. Like, you could stay low and get to that same tube, like the same issue, but... Right. Yeah, both teams have an yeah. Both teams have a chance to get to it. Oh my god, I had you guys muted. Jesus Christ. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wow, that's Uh, which is that one? All right, you guys are back. Sorry about that. Every podcast has its so mistakes. So what I was saying was that it would be good to have them in the opposite corners because <laughs> either way, you had <laughs> to 
work to get there from either side. That's it. Yeah, I think those are two neutral <laughs> spots too, where like both teams could get to them effectively. Uh huh. It's not like favored for one side. Right. Sorry about that audio. I forgot that this particular one I had to add the audio extra audio channel to. That's my bad. Feels bad, man. <laughs> oh hi! Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. <laughs> hey! Still hey, a piece of garbage. Yeah, now the podcast is claimed by whoever made that sound bite. What up? Mm-hmm. My name's Jared. I'm 19, and I don't know how to fucking read. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. This is why mom doesn't fucking love you. Yep. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think this is a brilliant idea for this game. I definitely think we should play it this way. <laughs> Thanos, get on it. Yeah, that being said, it's never going to happen. Right. No, don't say that. In like a private session, we could probably do it. Yeah. I... I don't see why they wouldn't have it done in public sessions. You're so right about like Shanty's upstairs not being used more in games. Like, why, 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 why? Mm-hmm. I think Shanty has one of the best upstairs in the entire like field system. Let's be honest, Shanty has the best everything. No need to beat around the bush. She is the queen. <laughs> um, God, Shanty's upstairs used to be so bad, and now it's so good. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know anything it, about this so bad part, so... <laughs> well, it used to be so bad, Back like... Back in the day when yeah, you they had just, less walls yeah, there's and more so many less walls. out of. I've heard all the horror. Spawn camping was so Yeah, spawn easy. camping was so insane. But, like, now there's just enough walls where the minute you get upstairs, like, you're not that safe. Like, even in games where I have, like, Sean or Juan upstairs with me, like, there's still a pretty good chance we're going to die at some point. Right. Wow, Powers is saying mid-June podcast-only session. I mean, if things are open by mid-June, I'm fucking... Well, I have to move in mid-June, but, like, I'm still in. (laughs) Yeah, that'd be fun. I'd be down for that. Podcast-only session... Let's the the gear swap live not to like depress people but i've heard that things are already like being set to be extended into july so don't get your hopes up yeah well we'll see what, what happens we with all these states starting to quote unquote open up <laughs> by the way i drive home every single day on the highway and there's a crazy qAnon person like on the highway with a sign like over 90 today Mm -hmm. every day the sign's different oh i know who you're talking about yeah that person (sighs) who makes you want to bring a gun on the highway why what (laughs) it's always like uh, like uh, 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 stuff huh no like the last three weeks it's been like freaking crazy yeah sean knows what i'm talking about um this lady she'll have like today it was open chicago Oh, like, usually it's like sweet stuff, though, right? Yeah, when she before she went batshit crazy. <laughs> I think let's be let's. You're like right. She was a generous. woman. She was already batshit crazy. Yeah, like if you're dedicating your life to standing on a bridge every day, and like holding a sign, something's going on. But no, you're right. Like a couple years ago, she had some pretty cool messages. But like now, it's all like conspiracy theory stuff, and it just drives me nuts. Like open Chicago, um. Fauci hey, is a liar. A lot of cats. <laughs> okay. There you go. God, I only have one. Two, maybe. One. Eight. <laughs> I'm leaving the podcast. Top cats. <laughs> <laughs>